everybody so today I am here to give you guys another what's for dinner video for our family of five this whole week is really fast meals tonight is pizza night so these are the two different kinds I'm working with in the summertime we do not turn our oven on for anything because we don't have central air we only have window units so turning on the oven is a no-go that's the reason why I love that little thing in the background back there it's called a vortex it's made by the instant company the same people who make instant pot we love this thing to death we use it all summer long even all winter because honestly it's just so convenient so I'll link it down below for you guys but while the girls pizzas are cooking I'm gonna go ahead and splice up ours so obviously ours is like a full-size pizza so I'm just cutting it while it's still frozen it's not super difficult or anything just slicing up the pieces so of course it's like more tedious than putting it in your oven and just cooking the pizza as a whole but I'm also not heating my house 20 degrees hotter <laughs> it's just something you got to think about when you do not have AC so this just makes it easier and more comfortable for all of us and we still get pizza as far as like time and temperature goes you got to play around with that it kind of varies like this is a stuffed crust pizza so the temperature and time on this is a bit different in the vortex versus like what the girls pizza is so it just kind of varies from different types of pizza that we have how long and at what temp it's in there for this night I also had some cotton candy flavored water this is from Walmart and you guys need to try it if you haven't it's so good it really does taste like cotton candy I can't drink a ton of this stuff because it weird leaves a weird flavor in my mouth but still really good and then this is the girls plates I put the banana peppers and pepperoni on the side because they like to put that on themselves with some fruit and then this is a look at our pizza like I said it's more tedious but it's what works for our family and we love it and the pizza is just as good it just takes a little bit longer but hey the house is not nearly as hot next night we had some fast food so we went to wendy's i had this jalapeno popper salad guys it is so good got a medium fry put that on there i was so surprised at how great it was so definitely recommend that next night was breakfast sandwiches so we have some eggs I was going to make those with my little egg cooker back here that I know I've shown before. It does have that little piece right there that I'm moving right now to make hard boiled eggs, but it also comes with those top two plastic pieces for, you know, egg patties, omelets, whatever. And that's what I was going to use. Didn't go super well. I'll get to that here in a second. Our bacon, and we actually make our bacon in the vortex as well. It's our favorite way to make it. It's really great. And then some cheese slices, sriracha for mom and dad, and put all of that stuff on English muffins. So I didn't get a ton of footage with this dinner because it went downhill relatively quickly. The whole egg situation just didn't work out how I had it pictured in my head. I did spray that little plastic piece with some oil like the instructions said. I seasoned the eggs with cumin, some onion powder, paprika, garlic powder and chili powder it's really clumpy at first but it mixes in especially when it warms up you can mix it again and it works really well it ends up being okay you can see my husband in the background waiting and watching the bacon so yeah that's a look at the eggs and then I just put this inside of that plastic piece that I showed earlier that I had already oiled up and I thought that this was going to work out amazingly however it just took a lot of time doing one or two sandwiches like this is completely okay I bet it'd be really convenient you can see me here going back in and mixing in some of the spices so everything mixed together okay at the end they tasted delicious they were great the lighting's a little weird here so they look a different color but they were good regardless it was just a lot so I might make the eggs a different way next time but still 10 out of 10 everybody loved the breakfast sandwiches they were a hit here and then the next night another fast meal one I personally love is rotisserie chicken so I got a family size one that was a fresh bird like they had just put those out I was so excited some mac and cheese and some buns I'll eat the rotisserie chicken completely plain all by itself but my husband and my kids don't really like to do that so for my husband I put together like a buffalo ranch one with ranch sriracha and hot sauce and then also a barbecue one so I just threw that in with some rotisserie chicken put it on a bun and there you go he eats his mac and cheese with ketchup like a heathen so you know had to deliver with that and then with the girls I did something I'm sorry not the girls this is my plate and Lexi's so I put some extra chicken extra mac and cheese the apple slices the bun stuff like that for her to just kind of pick off my plate it works really well on these fast and crazy nights and then with the girls I just put plain rotisserie chicken with the macaroni and cheese and fruit on the side 
winner every time. So this night we're going to have some pasta. I have some broccoli I need to use up. This is what I call lazy ziti. So I know you've heard of baked ziti, but have you heard of a lazier version? <laughs> so you're just going to need some ziti, marinara sauce, alfredo sauce, and if you have not tried these rolls, you need to. They're in the frozen section by the garlic bread delicious. So with the ziti, you make the noodles, and then you throw in the marinara and the alfredo. You just want less alfredo than marinara, and it's delicious. We've tried big ziti. My husband and I love it. The kids hate the melted cheese on top. I couldn't tell you why, because they like cheese. They even want me to add cheese to it, but, you know, this is how I make it. Anyways, here's the rolls. Here are the veggies. I'm going to put in the description how I made both of these. I made both the rolls and the veggies in the vortex as well. I just didn't take a long enough clip for me to explain it here. So I'll describe it down below. But this dinner is really fast, really easy. Just everyone really enjoys it. So I definitely recommend this too. And this night we had Indian food. So this is what Mark gets. He gets kind of like a sampler platter every time. It's the same one, but he likes all the different food he gets with it. So I'll put on the screen what comes with that. And then for myself, I get the chicken korma with garlic naan. So it comes in that huge container you can see over to the side right here. But I just put some on my rice to show you guys what it actually looks like. Oh, so delicious, guys can't say enough good things and then we also got starbucks that night so my starbucks order is a venti iced chai latte with oat milk and brown sugar syrup that's what i get try it my husband says it smells like christmas in a cup and i love it the next night is french toast and bacon this is totally my husband's deal the bacon that we like again this is the bread that he prefers to use farmhouse pepperidge farmhouse hearty white that's our griddle amazing i'll also link that down below but i mainly get out of his way for this i'll link the recipe down below but he measures with love and no one can beat my husband's french toast delicious every time babe such a good job sometimes a busy week calls for breakfast for dinner two times in a row so the next night is leftover night that's something i feel like i don't see a lot in any kind of what's for dinner videos but here i'm making some tuna salad for my husband so i have a couple cans of tuna mayo relish and then i have some parmesan cheese that I sprinkle in as well. And then garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. So this again is all measured with love. I used to make this regularly for his lunches. So it's just kind of a recipe I have off the top of my head. I gave him some of these Southwest Ranch poppables and that was his dinner for the evening. The kids had mac and cheese, I believe. And for myself, I had some leftover chili. This is a look at that. So. If you guys are interested in this, I will include it in my next What's For Dinner video and I'll do the whole recipe in the Instant Pot. I just didn't know how popular it would be. I mean, I feel like everyone has their own chili recipe, but if you guys would like to see it, I'll definitely share it. That is everything for this week of What's For Dinner. It was a really fast and crazy week. We needed these easy meals. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.